possible, if that makes sense. Yeah, boy. Yo right guys, WS Gaming and welcome back to my top 5 tip series and today I'm just going to be reviewing Winston. So I've been playing Winston quite a lot in this season because he's just, I just find him, he, he fits into the meta because like I, I, I play quite a bit of Reinhardt and like I don't know. I just think he's probably going to be one of my main tanks this season, which he is, I've started playing him quite a bit. And c considering he fits into the meta, I thought I'd give you guys a quick preview on just 5 top, top 5 things that you guys can Start doing to improve your Winston play. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. If you guys enjoyed, if I guys, if I helped you out, if I guys, if I helped uh, any of you guys out. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, starting off, it's gonna be your bubbles. Okay, so tip number one, definitely about your bubbles. Your bubbles are probably one of the most useful things that. that that Winston can use because he can just protect any enemy on his team, give him a little bit of leeway. Just even though it's um, even though it isn't that um, powerful, like it's like a Reinhardt shield or an Arisa, but you can protect say a Mercy or something. So you guys definitely want to use it to protect players such as like Lucios, Mercies, Genjis, anything like that, and also use it to counter ultimates as well, such as Reinhardt and Soldier seventy six or McCree or all the above. So yeah. And then the second tip is going to want to be the ultimate use, okay? So Primal Rage, everyone's like, oh, it doesn't do that much. You, you don't want to use that. Winston's got a battle, all this. But Winston's ult is definitely a very good use because, number one, it will protect you from dying. So if you're on 1 HP, you just pop it and you got 900 HP even. I'm really struggling with fingers today. Okay. And yeah, also the way that he disrupts enemy teams, like he can he can go around, smack people off the map, you can get really good kills, like you can hit tons of people off the map, you can knock them off the point when they're just about to contest in overtime, you can knock them off the point, they aren't getting back on that point, alright, so yeah, and that's about it for the, for the ultimate use, and then the punching times, okay, so that's going to be my third tip, my third tip's going to be about the punching times, I know it sounds a bit weird, but I see a lot of Winston's just punching in the middle of a fight. But what you're going to want to do is, uh, when you jump in, so when you use your jetpack, okay, as you're about to hit the floor onto an enemy, press the melee button, whatever that melee button's going to be, but press the melee button, and literally, it's going to deal a lot more damage than you would have expected, okay? So, a melee, on its own, does around 15 damage, I think, 10 damage, and then when... when once you jump on someone, it does like, what, 20, 20, something like that. So, yeah, it's going to be dealing a lot more damage, like 30, 35. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's, it, it, it deals a lot more damage. I'll be showing it in a clip just now. You guys can see that. And also, saving enemies on weak health. So, if there's an enemy, say there's a Genji, he's on 10 HP. You can easily see that he is on really low health. Don't melee when he's on medium health. Don't melee... Like, when he's just taking a little bit of health. Melee him at the end of the fight. Because Winston's gun, you can see it doesn't really do that much damage. But if you hit someone at the end, it's going to deal a lot more damage. So, yeah. And then, my fourth tip is definitely going to be focus the weak enemies. I know this is probably, like, a easy tip for you guys. You guys probably all know this. But focus the weak enemies. You don't want to be running around hitting all the tanks. Because you do trash damage to all these tanks. You're not going to do anything. So, for example, you want to be focusing all the healers, you want to be focusing all the DPS, all the tanks, apart from Reaper. You don't want to go near that guy. He can, he, can, he can end your life in two seconds, trust me. Don't go near him. And enemies are vulnerable to Winston. What I mean by that is a Genji. Genji relies on deflect, okay? To get out of fight, he relies on either dashing out or deflecting out. If he tries to deflect your Winston, he isn't... He is useless against Winston because he can't deflect out. And if he tries to dash out, you just got to jump on him, all right? You got to keep following that Winston. So, yeah. And my final tip is definitely going to be you want to disrupt the shit out of the whole enemy team, okay? So, the enemy team, they're going to be like all... 
Like, oh, we're doing good. What are they doing? They got a Winston. You jump on them. You just mess them all around. You boop them all off the map. You do whatever you want. Or you got to take them all off the high ground. No one's allowed high ground when you're playing Winston, okay? If you see a soldier on high ground, he isn't allowed out there. What's, what are you doing leaving a soldier up on there? You can't. You can't be doing that. You need to literally just be in their faces. Make him, make him rage. Make him be toxic. Make him quit the game. Just literally just get in their faces whenever you got an opportunity. Just get in their faces. Do whatever it takes to just... Oh, I don't even know. You just got to you just gotta annoy, basically. You just got to annoy the enemy team. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. I hope I made you guys a little bit of a better Winston player. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. Hopefully I did. Because they're my top 5 tips for playing Winston. And I managed to hit Grandmaster, if not top 500, playing Winston. So yeah, I was really happy about that. And make sure you guys like and subscribe the video. Because if you like and subscribe, then yeah, you just get good luck. No, I'm joking. But... If you subscribe and turn notifications on, you'll be notified whenever I'm doing a stream, whenever I've uploaded another top 5 tip video, whenever I've uploaded a video, you'll be known about it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.